huge game for both teams. Portland State needing to go in to stay in the mix of the playoffs. Hornets looking to get win number eight. Need a big return. They get one here. Gandy. Devin Gandy across midfield. Devin Gandy to the sideline. Devin Gandy to the house for a Sacramento State touchdown. And there's your answer. Stingers up. What a play. They usually fair catch that. And you saw Gandy hesitate, but he got it. Saw some grass there. He went to that left side of his, and he had plenty of blocking. And Dave, he turned on the speed there and outran those last two guys who had the angle on him to get into the end zone for the Hornets. Great play by Devin Gandy, number five. Tremendous play. And a huge answer after falling behind on the touchdown pass. Sac State now with a lead. We'll take a peek again at this kickoff return touchdown. As Devin Gandy took it the distance. You see here, it's like he hesitated. Then he's looking for his blocking, and he sees that left side come open, and, and the speed that he has right there. I thought the kicker had the angle on him, but he was able to just get by him and turned on the afterburners, got into the end zone for a tremendous, huge touchdown for the Hornets. When they're in a game like this, these are things that break it open, Dave. Isaiah Henney in 2014, 89 yards against Mendel, the last time the Hornets had a kickoff return for a touchdown. And I'm sure against Mendel, it wasn't as big as this game right now. It's a non-league game. This one with a lot on the line for Sacramento State. Now going for two. Dunaway in the fog for two. Marshall Martin. So now you get a return for a touchdown. You go for two and get it. You talk about confidence. That's huge. And you're going to see the blocking right here. Right there. Look at that block right there. You see 88 out in front. Number seven makes a tremendous block there to spring him. Broussard. Touchdown. Huge play for the